I don't suppose there's any chance they had the wrong envelope. <sighs> Probably not. So, the Oscars have come and gone, and I'm 15 for 24. Most years, I'm 17 or 18. 15 is not terribly good. <sighs> but I don't think it was really my fault. Well, let's look at these nominees. First of all, the short film categories. I finally got one of them right. Animated short. I correctly predicted that Bao would win, and then I... I messed up on live action short and documentary short. And in fairness, uh, period, end of sentence, and uh, skin were my number twos in the category. So I almost, almost got it, but I just, I don't know. Like, this is the one year where the shorts did everything the way you would expect them to do it, and I ignored my gut on the on two of the categories, and it didn't work out. Documentary went to Free Solo, I got that right. Foreign language film obviously went to Roma. Animated went to Spider-Verse. This was one of the best moments of the night for me. It is just so gratifying to see Spider-Verse when I actually found myself getting a little emotional. Because uh, we all kind of were predicting it, but we weren't entirely sure they were going to do it. And thank God they did. They didn't go all the way, though, which I'll get to later. Best Sound Mixing and Sound Editing both went to Bohemian Rhapsody. I got mixing right, I got editing wrong. I really thought Black Panther had a chance because it's the big loud movie, but nope. Original Song went to Shallow, surprising nobody. The performance of Shallow was done very well at the Oscars. By the way, the whole idea of doing it hostless was surprisingly interesting. Um, it went by a lot faster. There, there weren't a lot of... It wasn't continuously interrupted by jokes and skits by the host. I actually... Maybe they should adopt that as a new form of just not having a host because it wasn't the total disaster we all thought... Well, it kind of was a disaster, but we'll wait for that later. So... Uh, original song was Shallow. Original score was Black Panther, which is honestly kind of cool. I It's a real shame they didn't give it to Beale Street because that's a beautiful, beautiful score. But you know what? Props on them for doing something a bit atypical and stepping outside the comfort zone. In score. Uh, visual effects. They said First Man here, which props to them for awarding a movie with more practical effects and more subtle effects. I was convinced they were going to do Ready Player One. That was my No Guts, No Glory. Um, but... Some people with other No Guts, No Glories really paid off this year. Best, uh... Okay, what? Best Makeup went to Vice. Costume Design went to Black Panther. Uh, I did not see that one coming. Vice, I did. Uh, and Production Design went to Black Panther, which is one of the awards that I'm happy that I called. Uh, as well as Documentary Feature, I'm happy that I called that. Uh, cinematography was Roma. Great job. Uh, film editing, Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, not so, there wasn't really a good choice in this category. Uh, I, I said Vice, but it, it wasn't Vice. I still think all the Best Picture nominees walked away with something. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. But maybe it was a little bit uneven in exactly what movies won what. So, Adapted Screenplay went to Black Klansman in... Spike Lee gave the best speech of the night, arguably. Uh, that was incredible. Original screenplay went to uh, Green Book, and some people were complaining, and I thought it was a fair win at the time. Supporting actress, they opened the show with this Regina King. I Deserving, very deserving, but Amy Adams, by God, she's going to get one one of these years. I just don't know when. Supporting actor, uh, Mahershala Ali. Good for him for becoming the second black person to win two acting awards. That is genuinely impressive, after Denzel. <sighs> okay, best actor. I'll, I'll just say best actor was Rami Malek, which we saw coming, and I didn't know he was dating Lucy Boynton, and that was sweet. And best director 
was uh, was Guillermo del no Alfonso Cuarón. Alfonso Cuarón. That would have been a surprise. Alfonso Cuarón won Best Director. So those were predicted, and then just as we're winding down, and it was a nice, safe, predictable Oscars. They throw us with the double whammy. Best actress, not Glenn Close, Olivia Coleman. So first of all, can I just say, Glenn Close deserves to win an Oscar for acting like she wasn't upset for winning an Oscar. Like, that smile of hers, like we were all watching her and major props to her. I would not have smiled that big. You just know Glenn Close is so furious right now. I'm not even the biggest fan of her as an actress or as a person or even her performance, but I'm mad for her. This was supposed to be her year. This was written in the stars to be her year. If all the categories to throw an upset in there, why did it have to be this one? And I like Olivia Coleman. I like her performance in the movie, but really that was a supporting performance. And I think it was a supporting performance. I don't think she should be in the lead category. And I, I mean, Coleman's speech was very good. But if anybody had to be close, I wish it would have been Yalit Zaprisho because I really like... It's a great Cinderella story. And also, we would have gotten all four acting winners of color, which I'm pretty sure has never happened before. I don't even know if this three acting winners of color has ever happened before. I'll have to double check that. But Coleman gave a great performance. Um, and then Best Picture happened. And I should have seen this coming. I should have had some suspicion. I should have thought my curse with predicting the Oscars would not be broken this year. Every year, I either get Best Picture wrong or I get Best Director wrong. And more often than not, it's Best Picture. In the past seven years, I've been doing this for seven years. Um, two years, I got Best Picture right and, or, and I got Best Director wrong. Uh, the year that what what was it? The other Spotlight one, I had that winning. And the other Argo one, I had that winning, but I said Spielberg would win. And then in Spotlight's case, I said that uh, George Miller would win in an upset. That didn't happen. But every other year, I've gotten picture wrong. 2013, I said it would be Gravity. 2014, I said it would be Boyhood. 2016, I said it would be La La Land, like we all did. 2018, I said it would be Three Billboards. And this year, I thought for sure it would be Roma. And it was a green book. And here's the thing. I saw so much hatred for green book in the lead up to best picture, in the lead up to the Oscars. And I kept saying, I don't get it. Sure, it's basic. It's old fashioned, but it's a fine film. It's not going to win, but it's a fine film. I totally had no dislike or, or hatred for the movie. And then it won Best Picture, and now I despise it. it. It's not that it's a bad movie, it's just it's such an old-fashioned movie, and it might be the safest choice of those eight nominees. I get that the Academy is primarily made up of old white men, but can't you branch out a little bit? What about all those young members, very diverse members that you're supposed to be adding? Why couldn't they help? Why couldn't they help to give Best Picture to something else, anything else. Okay, Bohemian wouldn't have made a very good winner, Vice wouldn't have made a very good winner, but Roma, which we were all banking on, because it got nominated for, like, everything, it would have been made history, first foreign language film to ever win Best Picture, first movie in any of those uh, asterisk categories, foreign documentary animated, first one of those movies to win, and it would have set a precedent that could have one day led to an animated movie winning. Like, this was the most perfect path ever for a foreign language movie to win Best Picture, and it's still lost. And Quaron is still the first director to win for a foreign language film, so kind of progress, but not enough. And if you weren't going to give Rome a picture, then give Spike Lee director, make progress there. But, and then... Black Klansman would have made a great Best Picture winner if you weren't going to give it to Roma. Black Panther, I think, would have been an amazing Best Picture winner. Um, what, what else was this year? A Star is Born. 
also kind of basic, but you know what? A damn good movie. I would have liked to see that win. Even The Favorite, which would, wouldn't be the best winner, but I'd prefer that movie winning over Green Book. I just... <sighs> I did not do well in my predictions. Uh, it's like every year I like the Oscars a little bit less. And this year, I like the Spider-Verse one. I like the, I like the Spike Lee one. I, I don't know, man. It's getting harder and harder to defend the Oscars, even though this year they did a pretty good job with the whole hostless thing. I just don't know what I'm going to do going forward. This was supposed to be the year a foreign language movie won Best Picture. That was what the whole narrative was building towards. I have no idea what's going to happen next year. But you know what? I'm shooting a movie in a week. I need to put all this behind me. I need to let this go. So, maybe I'll see you in a little bit in March to talk about predictions for next year. And maybe I won't. Either way, wish me luck because I'm about to shoot a movie. So, thank you for watching. I'm uh, not sure when you'll see from me again, but um, I'll... I hope you're waiting for me when I when I do come back. Thank you. Goodbye.